This video assumes that you already know how to set up the DBFZ files to play with mods. So you did everything a mod tutorial told you to do and you try to boot up DBFZ. And when you boot up, when you try to boot up DBFZ, it just doesn't. As you're gonna see right now. There we go. All right, it's time to troubleshoot. So go to your mods folder and remove everything from it and go back to, and then go back to your exe folder, open it up again, see if the game is going to launch basically. And it is, it is definitely, if you did everything correctly in the tutorials, it should just launch no problem. See, there we go. Uh, if the game didn't boot up that time, then you should uh, redo the mod process, the mod setup process again, and do that until it launches by itself, no problem. Now that everything is good on your end, for the most part, now it's time to look at the mods themselves. So I'm just gonna go to my mods folder here, just just so I could drag it in when I'm done, drag it in when I'm done with the, the mods here. So now, now this is the tedious part. You have to go through every single one of your mods and make sure that they're correctly named pack chunk zero slash windows no editor on both the pack and dot sig files. So go through every single one of them until you find the ones that aren't named correctly. So for me, the troubles came from the Goku Day manga colors for everyone mod. And as I was going through everything, I found out that Vegito and Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue were the problems. So here it is. I'll leave what you're supposed to type in in the video description below, just so you can copy and paste it no, like very easily. So yeah, let me rename these. Let me rename the pack folders. So rename the files to what they're supposed to be whoops whoops <laughs> there we go and now if you haven't already drag your mods back into your mods folder go to the ex file try to launch it again And now we wait. And this is kind of a, probably one of the best times you're gonna feel really good about looking at Goku. And there he is, Goku. <laughs> so we have done it correctly now. Obviously, go to training mode just because it's the easiest way to check. And now go through every character that we're giving that was giving you trouble. Orb stage. After you select your characters. And there they are. Manga Day colors for the, the fusions now. Those were giving us trouble because they had the wrong name. And now they have the correct name and they have the correct mod loaded. You also go through other characters and other things you have installed just to make it double just a double uh, check. Sorry, I had a brain fart. And pick your modded stage if you if you have one loaded. I have no modded stage loaded yet, so we're you know we're just going to sell games because it's the easiest one to get into. And there we go, manga day uh, Vegito and manga day Gogeta. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I'll try to get to it. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I solved this problem. I saw that a lot of people were having this issue and I was having it myself after the Super Ruby 2 patch. So this should be the fix to it. I'm gonna try to contact the Manga Day color um, creator to bring it to their attention. So yeah, um, yeah, so we've fixed it. At least uh, this version of the issue. I'm not sure if you're experiencing other issues. Um, just, you know, obviously leave a comment, try to explore um, the internet try to find but this is this is the solution for the problem I was having and a lot of people were ha are having in the comments section of a lot of mod tutorial videos so yeah I'm now gonna you know start working on the video I was originally gonna work on and yeah
Peace. Uh, subscribe if you learn anything, please. I really need it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys.